In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus has some hard things that he has to say to us. For example, in verse 20, he says that unless our righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, we cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Then in verse 22, he says, if we are angry with a brother, we're in danger of the judgment. Then in verse 27, he says that it's not enough to, to simply not engage in the act of adultery, but that if we lust after a woman, we're already guilty of committing adultery. And then Jesus gives us a solution, and that's even harder. Look what, listen to what he says in verses 29 and 30. He says, if your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Now, please, don't take that literally. Jesus is being figurative here. He never meant for us to take our eye out or to chop off our hand. Because even if we were to do that, it wouldn't solve the problem of lust. Because lust doesn't originate with our hand, it doesn't originate with our eye, it originates in our mind. Which is why Paul says in Philippians chapter 2, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. We need a transformed mind. We need a new way of thinking. And before you get discouraged, I want to remind you of something that uh, Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. He says that God was in Christ Jesus, not counting our sins against us. So don't let yourself be overwhelmed with this. And I also want to remind you that in Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5, in the very first verse, Jesus is speaking to his disciples. He's speaking to people who are already in a saving relationship with him. So this is not requirements for salvation, but when you're in a saving relationship with Christ and your mind's been renewed, there's going to be changes in the way that we interact with people. God fills us with his grace, not so that we can have a license now to sin. Instead, we now have a license to live by a higher standard. When we are filled with grace, we're going to look at other people, not as objects to be used for our own selfish purposes, but we're going to see them as children of God, that God has loved them, has been gracious with them, and we will treat them accordingly. Go and make yourselves a great day.